Las Vegas, live at 11. Major new developments in the race for a COVID vaccine. The news coming as the president reveals that he has been taking a drug at the center of a warning from the FDA. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Trisha Keen. And I am Ty Quinones. Let's right now get out to 13 Investigates reporter Joe Bartels, who is live near Rainbow and Lake Mead with all these details. Joe. Well, Todd and Trish, the vaccine still has a very long way to go when there's still lingering questions about its true effectiveness, but overall very promising so far. And the president making some very big headlines just hours ago, revealing he's taking a medication that's used to fight malaria. So you got maximum though 50% of revenue loss. Yeah. At a White House roundtable with restaurant representatives from around the country, President Trump revealed he's been taking hydroxychloroquine. Sound familiar? The drug, which is used to treat arthritis, lupus, and malaria, made headlines in March when authorities considered it as a possible treatment for COVID-19. It's been around for 40 years for malaria, for lupus, for other things, I take it. Frontline workers take it. A lot of doctors take it. Since then, the U.S. Food and Drug Administration put out this warning, indicating both hydroxychloroquine and chloroquine have not been shown to be safe and effective for treating or preventing COVID-19. Adding both drugs can cause abnormal heart rhythms, which can be fatal, and those with underlying health issues like heart and kidney disease are at a greater risk of heart problems. I want the people of this nation to feel good. I don't want them being sick. And there's a very good chance that this has an impact. Authorities are also assessing a potential COVID-19 breakthrough. Moderna Inc., a biotechnology company, revealed a vaccine which may protect people from getting the virus. This would really be a novel, a novel vaccine. There are to my knowledge, no other RNA vaccines that are out in clinical use at this point. Dr. David DeJohn with the UNLV School of Medicine says he's cautiously optimistic. According to Moderna, in the first phase of vaccine testing, all eight participants developed antibodies. Experts say the vaccine uses RNA instead of a dead or partial virus like a traditional vaccine to protect the body. This is a different approach, um, and uh, so I, I think it's very exciting. I certainly think it has, I think it has great potential. Uh, but we really need to see more data um, on a number of fronts to know whether or not um, this will truly uh, work. And the trial is shown to be safe so far. Again, a lot of promise here, and the FDA has fast-tracked it for its next phase of uh, surveillance here, uh, which is set to, set to start in July. Also, authorities say that they expect to have a working vaccine by the end of the year. Reporting live, Joe Bartels, 13 Action News.